See what they get up to in prisons nowadays. Unsigned, undiscovered, and under the radar music. BBC.co.uk slash Hereford and Worcester slash introducing. Still to come then, we've got our gig guide coming up for the Worcestershire area. So if you're looking to go out this weekend, then that's for you. If you're not, then, uh, well, you're going to have to tolerate it, all right. But anyway, a Worcester filmmaker has launched a new series looking at music production in the county. Jim Lowe's production of On The Record documents what life's like on the road for our local industry professionals. This week we meet one of the most colourful characters on the local scene, I think it's fair to say, known for his eccentric costumes and high-energy performances. Here's Lewis, spelt backwards. Every talent show, they'd be like, obviously, I was like, come on, let's do it. You've got a bit of a reputation at school. I'm just always out of songs. So I used to get a, we'll win if we're doing something different. Come on, guys, do something different. I'm not one of these people that look straight ahead. You know, I'm going to look to the sides, I'm going to look... You know, below, I'm going to look up and see if there's anything else going on. The people that see you, see you do your loops, fantastic, dramatic performance, is often very controversial and push you without there, but I don't think that they would automatically go, can Lewis play the guitar? Can Lewis play the piano? Can they see me at home? Can Lewis play the dulcimer? You know, so so you can do all that? To an extent. Looking at other jumpsuits, looking at the Supremes, amazing outfits, perfect hair, perfect wigs, and then you move on to, because again, where it changes for me, you look at Tory, look at Kate Bush, look at Bjork, it's much rawer. Although the music's rawer, the images are very different. You've got the laid back of Tori Amos, you've got the extravagance of Bjork. I mean, think about Bjork now, she's wearing big ginger wigs. And before it was little 90s bunches dancing around. I like an old theatre, I like the red velvet curtains, I like the stage lights. But that's it. I want it just to be me on stage doing music. People never understood me, so there's that old if people see something different, there's the fear. So people were like, oh god, and when fear comes then people get scared so they lash out and I think you know you have to deal with that but there was no point in hiding me wanting to be different not wanting to be just you are and that was from quite a young age as well. yeah after I started doing all this you know stuff with friends when I started doing my own wanted to sing the songs I wanted to sing perform the songs that I wanted to perform I was left alone left alone to it and not saying I was you know prom queen, but you know, I had a reputation. First so when did Lewis spout backwards arise? Well, my mum always used to say to me, you're a queer boy. Queer as in a bit odd. And she's like, oh, you're backwards. You're backwards. And I always remember my internet avatar at the time, the pseudonym was Lewis, and then Lewis spout backwards. And I was walking down the street one day and I thought, Lewis spout backwards. And I think, you know, people escape on the internet. And Lewis spout backwards, it was born. When I first got my lead station, and I kept talking about it for years and years and years, I had it, I'd set it up, never used it before in my life, and I sat down and created three songs in an afternoon. The things that had been in my head, things that I'd tried on the piano, I'd tried on the organ, and it just didn't work. But for me, the three songs in one afternoon, uh, to me, that's pretty... It's unique. I wrote Hello Hello, A Little Love and Homophobia, which went through many, many different transformations, but Homophobia was one of the first songs I ever wrote on the on the loop station and it just came, it came so naturally because I was working with my voice. Fashion started to influence my life. Fashion is so superficial and so harsh and so judgmental. But then I decided to take bits of the stuff that I liked, again, like I did for music, take what I liked, take it into my own world. And then I was like, hey, I've got a song that I like singing and an amazing outfit. Why not show everyone else? The Long Lounge was a great time to experiment and to meet new people and to meet artistic people, creative people. I can't emulate anyone else because it's just me. And when I'm in that moment, I'm not thinking about how Annie Lennox did it at that time. I'm not thinking about how Annie did it. I'm not thinking about how Bjork did it at that time. 
I'm just there and I can't control it. And I think Worcester is very talented. And I think what binds us together is that Worcester mentality. Worcester music to me is difficult because I don't like a lot of music. You know, I like the people I like and I stick to them. And the people that I do like, I champion. And we're like cockroaches. I mean, we get exterminated in one venue, then we scutter along to another. Wonderful soundbite. We're like cockroaches. So when we get exterminated, we go to another venue. Our series concludes next week with poor Bob Jones giving his wonderful insight into local music and a whole history which spans right back and you can catch the whole of Jim's series uh, on YouTube. There's a link across from our webpage as well at bbc.co.uk slash Hereford and Worcester slash introducing. See the pictures and listen again. bbc.co.uk slash Hereford and Worcester slash introducing. introducing.